coming at you today. First of all, before we go any further, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has been so incredibly supportive now that Balloon Professionals Magazine is officially off the ground. Um, our first edition came out a few months ago. Uh, the, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. I can't thank you all enough for the, the incredible amounts of energy and love and compassion and patience and understanding you all have given as we get this project off the ground. I also have some very exciting news to share with you about Balloon Professionals Magazine. That's going to wait. We'll talk about that as we go on. Um, but for now, I would like to take this opportunity to show you the next edition of Balloon Professionals Magazine. This is our October, November, December edition. But the one thing I wanted to say is that we have worked really hard on this particular edition to improve upon our first edition. I know a lot of people... Um, had very constructive comments and criticism of things about what we could do differently. And as well, I had my own list of things that we could do differently that could have been better. And it starts right with the very first page. Um, the table of contents. I know this sounds like it's so incredibly silly to spend time and energy talking about the table of contents. But one thing that happened in, in the last issue, you, you're making the magazine, you're putting all these articles together, and then, oh crap, I need a table of contents. And you really, it's, it's an afterthought. So you just kind of like, blah, 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 and, okay, I'm going to throw a few pictures here and there and, and everything's fine. But that's not, unfortunately, for example, if you don't know what the someone ought to ask section is about, you're looking at that on the table of contents going, so the idea now was simply to add one little sentence under each, each one of our categories to give you an idea of what exactly each section is about. All right, as we go on to page three, Another new section of the magazine, this is our letters to the editor section. Um, this is a magazine. As such, we're going to get feedback from you, and we want to be as transparent as possible when it comes to the production of this magazine. So we've taken emails that you've sent us. We've taken posts on Facebook messages or, or posts that we did, or comments on Facebook posts, and we are including them in a letters to the editor section. Um, a very popular section in our first edition was the calendar section, and once again, it's back. Uh, October, November, and of course December. Um, you know, different activities that are going on. And, and consider this yet another invitation. If you are teaching a class, if you are teaching a series of classes, if you're doing something like that, we want to know about it because we want to put it in the magazine on the calendar. Okay? Um, if, you know, I'm, I'm talking to you, Dante Longy. You're teaching classes or something independently or with a sponsor, let us know and give us enough warning so that we can put them in the magazine. Okay, now we go to page seven. This is our product review. Um, in our last edition, it was the Mag Glider. Uh, many of you know Rob Belchunas. Uh, he's an incredibly popular twister and uh, aspiring decorator um, who has gone viral more times than Kim Kardashian. Rob also has a line of products of his own called the Bag Chunas, which is a twister-related balloon bag. So this month, we have a, pro, or a, a product review of Rob's Jumbo Bag Tunis um, from people that actually own it. And again, which is very important to me, there's positive, there's constructive. There's other elements to it that aren't necessarily complementary to the product. It has to, it's got to have both if it's going to have integrity. So the reality is, despite the fact that I consider Rob a friend, I want to make sure that this review is as honest as it can be. So thank you very much, Rob, for having the courage to put your product in the review. And, and thank you to everyone that took the time to actually review it and correspond with me. Um, in pages 8 and 9, the This Just In and Out section, this is our section devoted to new products that are on the market for you. Uh, this time around, we've got products from CTI. We've got products from Premium. We've got products from BalloonDVDs.com. We've got products from Anagram, Qualitex, and Vitalik, all featured in here all in one location so that you can find out more about them. This next section is another new section. Um, we decided that we needed an industry expert, just like a, a basic column every month in the magazine. And this month, we have tapped 
the lovely and talented Chris Adamo from Australia. Uh, of course, now I'm going to get a Facebook message, I'm sure, from Chris. Thank you very much. Um, I will spare everyone my Australian accent because unless I'm talking about taquitos, it really sucks. Um, but what we do now is we have an, an Ask an Expert corner where we ask the expert a few questions directly related to the industry and things that they do. Uh, for example, in this particular article, we talked to Chris about the organic work that he does. We talked to him about um, some of the issues that Australians are facing as far as balloon releases and uh, legislation goes. Um, things like that that Chris talks about in the article, which is really nice. The next section, I have to admit, irks me a little bit. Now, let me make this clear. Very clear. It does not irk me. The artist involved doesn't irk me. None of that irks me at all. I love her to death. That's not even remotely it. This is a magazine about business. It is where balloons become business. But the number one piece of criticism we got from our first edition was, How come there ain't no recipes in it? All you have to do is Google. Google balloon recipes. There are thousands of them. And everybody, and I would literally tell it to people and they'd be like, Yeah, but there's no recipe in it. Fine. There's a recipe in it now. Um, our good friend out of New Jersey, Nadia Azar of Balloon Tastic Creations of Rockaway, New Jersey, has taken the time to put together for us a fabulous step-by-step -step centerpiece design that is included for free in your publication. So you're welcome. Now, let's get to our Spotlight Artist of the Month. Um, the Spotlight Artist of our October edition is, in my opinion, a true artist. Someone who lives a life of passion. This person just creates and just creates for the sake of creating and she is so driven and so passionate and so ridiculously talented it's not even funny and her name is Romina Finale and our friend Romina is this issue's uh, artist of the, the spotlight artist excuse me um, and I want to say something else too if you think you're having a bad day you really need to read this article because Romina talks about where she has come from in her life and in her existence and and where and some of the adversity she's faced moving to a whole new country and literally finding out that the carpet's been pulled out from underneath her. Um, it, it, to know where she is, it's just a fantastic story and I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, I'm not going to share with you the balloon centerfold because that's a secret. You can go check it out for yourself, but I love the photo. Um, right after the centerfold, we have the gallery. The gallery, once again, is just a user-submitted or reader-submitted photographs. Um, this time around, because the magazine is October, November, December, uh, they focus on Halloween, fall, autumnal, Thanksgiving, uh, and uh, Christmas. So, mostly pictures there from different artists from around the world that you can check out their work. Now, one of the points I was going to get to is in our last edition, or our first edition, which is also our last edition, the single most popular section in the magazine was the Someone Ought to Ask I section, which covered copyright law and copyright infringement with balloon sculptures and the whole nine yards. And this time around, what we've done, it's called Of Labor and Law. And what we've done is interviewed an attorney who specializes in employment uh, attorney. So, like, for example, when you hire another balloon person and they're a subcontractor, are they really a subcontractor? Or when you hire your nephew, or you hire somebody like that, I mean, what, how, what are the restrictions? Now, obviously, of course, these all, and she says this in the article, they all vary from state to state to state. The next section is our roundtable section. Now, if you remember, in our first edition, the roundtable had to do with pricing. It had to do with how do you handle a competitor whose intention is to lowball pricing. And, well, yeah, well, if he's charging X amount, I'm going to charge 10% less. How do you battle that? Well, this time around, we decided to go a little more positive. So this time we talked about, we talked to um, several different artists about the best things they've ever done for their business. Um, and of course we've interviewed artists from both worlds, both decor and non-round twisting. Uh, we interviewed artists from other countries. We have male, we have female, we have African American. We have a, a variety of different people in an opportunity to try to get as big a uh, perspective as we possibly could for this particular article. Now we get to something I'm really excited about. This is, it's obviously not going to be in every edition because it doesn't make sense, but it will be an annual installation in the magazine, and that is your guide to the 2018 balloon conventions. Um, 
We have nine conventions listed here that are taking place in 2018 around the world. Now keep in mind, there might be more. There probably is more. If your convention, if you run a convention or you go to a convention and it's not listed here, either A, I genuinely didn't know about it, or B, you never responded to my emails. Um, so what we've done here is we've taken a guide, created a guide that literally has dates and it's all in, in chronological order. So when the conventions are offered is the order in which they're in. You've got the websites for all of them. You've got a description that's been provided by the convention themselves. You've got their primary sponsors, the basic price range you should expect to pay if you want to go, uh, the focus, the emphasis. For example, is it a decor convention? Is it an entertainer convention? In the case of Floatin', for example, it's strictly marketing and business classes only. There's no actual hands-on construction. You're on a cruise ship. What do you want to do? And then we get to our event coverage section. And I was lucky enough to be asked to teach at Blue University in 2017. The Burton & Burton held their 35th anniversary. And as such, every five years now they throw a party. And it's called Blue University. Uh, so we have coverage here from the Blue University convention, as well as the winners of the competitions, including designer of the year down there, Mr. Randy Harbin. Randy, congratulations once again on winning the top title. So these are things for you to check out. And finally, one last thing. This is my editorial. This is where I get one last chance to yell at you about something. And it's fine. Um, so that, my friends, is the unboxing video in a nutshell. But there's one more piece of information that I haven't shared with you yet, and that's because it's actually on the back of the magazine. Very exciting news that I'm ready to share now. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, balloonprofessionals.org is now officially online. As you're watching this video, you can now go to balloonprofessionals.org and you can read this magazine. Now, let me be clear. In order for you to read this magazine online, you must be a subscriber. As we speak right now, you're probably, like literally at this second, receiving an email from us giving you a link to where you can now log in, create a password in the whole nine yards, and basically set up your account with balloonprofessionals.org. This will allow you to log in and actually read all of the articles that are on Balloon Professionals magazine. So, congratulations. Now, some of you might be asking, but I don't subscribe to Balloon Professionals Magazine. What do I need to do? Guess what, kids? You don't have to send me an email anymore. You can now go directly to the website and subscribe on your own. When you go to subscribe online, you're going to find three options. You're going to find an annual option that is the magazine. You're going to find an annual option that is the digital you're going to find an annual option that is both magazine and digital. As I understand it, if you subscribe to the magazine, you will get access to the magazine every issue. So as you read the magazine, you'll, you'll get the physical magazine. And you can log in on the website and read it right then and there while that issue is the current issue. Okay. Once the new issue comes, you'll have access to the new issue, but you will no longer have access to the old issue online. That's why you'll need to make sure you keep your magazine as a reference point. If you are a digital subscriber, you will be able to access not only the current edition, but all past editions. Okay? However, you will never receive a physical magazine. Now, that may or may not matter to you, but if it does, you won't get it with the digital subscription. But if you want to go with the combined subscription, $60 a year, you'll get both the magazine and access to the digital version, which means you'll have unlimited access to the rest of it. So thank you all very much. I greatly appreciate your support once again. Stay tuned. Start checking your mailboxes next week for the very first, sorry, the very first, eh, the very second edition of Balloon Professionals Magazine. Talk to you next time.